This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hello, I'm Eric Kine. With me today is John Clell Ham, owner of Ham Hearing Aid Center. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing well, Eric. How are you? Doing excellent. Great to see you again. It's nice to see you. We talked a lot about the devices. I want to talk a little bit today about the ages of people that you normally see or should come in and see you. What yeah, would you say I think, about that? I think that's a great question. I think, you know, really anyone who's having any difficulty hearing, whether you're 20 or you're 80 or 100, you should come in and see us. I think a good benchmark is to start getting tested around the age of 50 annually and start monitoring your hearing because that's really when the majority of people will start noticing an impact of hearing loss. But I think the, the really the interesting thing to share with you is that you're never too old to get a hearing test or to begin having a better quality of life. I had a patient come to see me who was 103 years old. Wow. And she purchased new hearing aids. And you know, you would think, wow, 103 years old, I, I would call that the definition of optimism. However, her position was this, whether I'm around six more months or two more years, I wanna have the best quality of life I possibly can have. And that's what it's really about. Hearing loss affects your quality of life. Treating your hearing loss will improve your quality of life. And that's what we're committed to doing is helping people achieve optimal hearing results with hearing aids. All right, it makes sense and good for her, of course, too. Uh, now, you mentioned the age of 50. Now, that's just when people should start having checkups regardless if they're experiencing loss or not. That's correct. I think that's a, a really good age to begin the process of really monitoring your hearing and, and establishing at least a, a threshold, a benchmark, and then we can be prepared to uh, act when it's appropriate. And of course, if somebody's ex suffering some kind of a hearing loss before, then they need to come in and see you anyway. Absolutely. John, thank you so much. Is all this information on your website? It is. And people should always contact you for, for an appointment. You can learn more by visiting the website. Go to hamhearingaids.com. This has been a WECT Business Break.